Now we're going to look at the compare to method and we're going to start out with an equals method and this is a boolean and it's going to return true if the cards are equivalent or equal and false if they're not. So let's go ahead, copy this, paste right here, highlight alt shift F. Okay. So let me get all this on one line. All right, so this double and, it's only going to be true when this is true and this is true. So when is one card equal to another card? Well, it's equal when the ranks match and the suits match. The other card in this code is called that. Calling one variable, or well, this you don't have a choice. It's automatic. That, however, I don't really like that word that in this context. Uh, so I'm going to call it other card. And I want it to change everywhere that that appears. So I highlight it, right click. We're going to refactor, rename, control R. So I'm just going to call it other card. And this may be a little bit easier to understand. So this dot rank that remember this refers to the current card, this dot rank, and it compares to the other cards rank. Now remember they're just two integers. So that's, we're just seeing if two integers have the same value and this dot suits another integer. If that equals other card dot suit, well then we have an equal card and we would return true. And all we're doing, there's no if statement here. So this expression evaluates to either true or false and whatever it evaluates to, we're just returning that true or false. So let's go ahead and test this out. So we're gonna go with card two. Equals, put extra space, equals, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna call this card one, control R, card one, I'm not gonna remember what it's called if I don't standardize it. Right, two, all right, so we're printing out card one equals card two, and then is, so this is gonna be uh, I'm going to put in the value of equals. So how do I do that? So it's card one dot. Now there's a lot of methods here we didn't write, and these are all automatic. Which equals method do we want? Well, you can probably tell I want the one that takes a card right here. Don't worry about objects now. That's technically every object is a subclass of object in Java, but don't worry about the word subclass because I haven't covered it yet. We're using this first equals method. And how do I know? Because this one takes a card. That's how I knew. Okay, so we're going to see if card one equals card two. All right, go ahead and run this. Three of clubs equals ace of hearts is false. Obviously, it doesn't equal. So that makes a lot of sense why that would be false. Let's do something a little strange. We're going to compare a card to itself. Now, before I hit run, what do you think the outcome should be? Card one and card one should have the same rank and they should have the same suit. So it should be true. And there we go. Three of clubs equals three of clubs is true. Okay, so that's good. That's the equals method. Now, we're gonna look at a compare to. So what does a compare to do? Well, it's a little bit similar to equals, except instead of returning true or false, if one card is less than another card or before another card, then it's gonna return negative. And if the card would occur after the other card, it would return positive. And if the two cards basically are equal, meaning one doesn't necessarily come before the other, then compare to returns zero. And this is all stated in here. I do strongly encourage you to read this. So we're gonna look at this compare to method. And 
let's go ahead and put it right. Let's put it above equals. I'm doing shift click to highlight all that. Alt shift F. All right. So first thing we're going to do is compare suits. So again, I really don't like the word that. Well, it's a fine word in English, but not when it's appearing right next to this. So we're going to change to other card. Boom. All right. So if this suit is less than other card suit, return negative one. So when the first card has a smaller suit, return negative one. Now I want to warn you, a lot of games don't really care about the suit. So this would be in a game more like hearts. I don't want to just start saying names of games you may not have heard of, but if two cards being in order, if the suit is more important, then right here is what you should look for first for comparison. So if this suit is less than other card suit, we're going to return negative one. And if this suit is greater than other card suit, return positive one. All right, what happens if they're equal? All we covered is if this is less than other suit, negative. If this is greater than other suit, return positive. So what about if they're equal? Remember, return exits the method. So when you hit, if this suit is less than other card suit, when you return, nothing below it gets executed. So it stops right here. Same thing. If this suit is greater than other suit, it's going to return positive one and it's not going to continue execution. So the only way we're going to get to this part is if neither of those were true. So what does that mean? Just logically looking at it, it means the suits have to be equal. So if the suits the same, we have to do a little bit more digging. A good way to think about this is alphabetical order. You start by looking at the first letter of each word. And if it's a tie, what do you do? You look at the second letter of the word. If it's a tie, what do you do? You look at the third letter of the word. Now, I'm not sure what you do when one word shorter than the other, but depending on how you want to order things and if capitals matter, all that fun stuff. But this is kind of like that, where there's two things we're going to compare. The first one is suit. The second one is rank. So if this rank is less than the other rank, we're going to return negative one. If this rank is more than the other rank, return positive one. Now, what happens if the ranks are equal? The suits are equal and the ranks are equal. None of these returns actually happened. So we will continue execution after this and we return zero, meaning that they're equal. All right, so that's a lot of work right there. I can redo equals here and let's be pretty clever here. I've already compared. Remember, what is compare to return when two cards are the same, meaning the suits are equal and the ranks are equal, it returns zero. So let's go and delete all this return. So remember the first card is called this dot compare to other card. Now we're going to have a slight problem because compare to returns a number zero, they're equal when this equals zero. So what we're looking at, let's put a little parentheses around here. So if we do the compare to operator and we get zero, if this whole thing evaluates to zero, then they're equal. So I want to return true. How did I accomplish that? I got the value right here. If that value is zero, I want to return true. And remember double equals compares two things. If they're the same, if they're equal, well, it compares numbers. Uh, you have to write your own equals method as we're seeing here, but uh, luckily compare two is a number and this is a number so I can compare them with a double equal sign. So if they have the same value, this entire thing evaluates to true. And then when I say, are they equal? It'll be a true. And if this number is not zero, uh, then they won't be true. So let's go run it. I should see the exact same output. The two cards that were not equal, the is equal return false and the two that are return true. 
So we need to test out this method. So of course we're not calling equals, we're calling compare to. And there we go, compare to here. Okay, I think this will be good. All right, so three of clubs compared to ace of hearts is negative one. So remember, we compared the suit first. So the actual, the three versus the ace doesn't matter. It's only a question of which suit comes first. And somewhere up here, clubs is the smallest suit. Hearts is a larger suit. So three of clubs compares to any heart, they would be out of order. Well, they shouldn't say they're out of order. They're actually in order, uh, meaning negative one. So if the first one is smaller than the second one, we get a negative. Let's, uh, and you can also see the compare to returns a zero if you compare a card to itself. So let's take this first compare to line and let's reverse the order. Card two, compare to card one. And I do need to compare to switch over there. All right. So these are the lines we need to look at. So we already looked at the top one. Now I switch the order. So the hearts is first, clubs is second, and that gave us a positive one there. All right, that is the end of our compare two. These are not exhaustive tests. I'm just doing the bare minimum to convince myself that it's working. I would do quite a bit more testing if I had more time and I wasn't trying to record this and keep it to a reasonable amount of content.